Okay, here's our big news. I uh, am getting ready to go. Some bugs break is doing chores at night with like shop lights and stuff is absolutely terrible this time of year. There's a bug on the door. But I am headed out to get Rhonda's pins all clean. <laughs> I'm coming out to get Rhonda's pins all clean and ready um, because Zach's coming home with baby calf that we're gonna hopefully introduce to Rhonda so that she can have a new milk calf. Um, and we are gonna move calf and moo to some other property tomorrow. But I'm gonna go get eggs. Hang on, it's getting dark. I just came out to get eggs and these two calves must have gotten in Normally this, well, I know that this door was changed. They must have somehow gotten it off. But I walked in and our laying box is flipped over. I'm going to guess none of the eggs are probably going to be good. Ugh. So these cows are moving to another property. And um, what on earth? I'm so frustrated right now because I'm sure that well, the egg's okay. Uh, I think that this is broken too. Busted. Busted. That one might have made it. Oh, slight crack. We can eat it tomorrow. <sighs> Problem is I'm gonna have to get all of these out because I don't want the chickens to eat the raw eggs and start realizing that they can do that. All right, these are the ones that survived all of these I'm going to compost <sighs> got that standing back up but I think Zach's gonna have to tack a few things back down but okay back to cow business all right I'm gonna see if I can explain how this is gonna work <laughs> hopefully how this is hopefully gonna work you just never know um Rhonda has had a few different orphan cows calves on her before she's she was used as like a nurse cow before this so basically they just kept her in milk to nurse baby calves um and we have transferred her back to being a milk cow um not just for calves but we do still calf share so she's had calf on her since she came to us and hi um and so basically that allows us the flexibility so we milk her every morning but it allows us the flexibility if we need to skip one she would have a calf on her um still draining her udder so that she doesn't get like mastitis and such doing that also allows us to raise calves to build out our herd um so truly it's a win-win um but calf is too big we've been looking for a bottle baby we found the perfect one um, I think his name is Rocky. Zach is coming home with him in a dog kennel because we don't have a trailer. Um, so Rocky is about a month old, which might be a little bit old to be doing this. Um, but I'm hopeful that he knows how to eat. She knows how to feed him. And um, hopefully they'll make a good little pair. But I'm going to get her pen all cleaned up before he comes. And um, her, she's been pinned today, so her bag is full and ready to feed him. I asked his owners not to feed him tonight, not to feed him dinner, um, so that he was coming to us hungry. She's ready to be relieved. Um, her bag is full. So uh, hopefully tonight she's calm. We're gonna feed her whenever he gets here and um, we'll show him her and Hopefully he can start nursing. We'll leave him through the night to kind of figure things out and 
go from there and we'll just keep a close watch on them tomorrow. If they need more help, then we'll kind of come in and um, kind of help hand milk her to him um, and make that transition a little bit clearer for them. But I'm hopeful that both of them are experienced enough to be able to just figure it out naturally. Zach just got here. Baby Rocky is in the kennel, in the dog kennel. I'll show y'all whenever I get back. But he went inside and to change clothes and came out and said Stevie was screaming. So I'm gonna go nurse her back to sleep <laughs> and then we'll resume uh, moving the calf. Everyone meet Rocky. Hi. He's in the dog kennel, but we're gonna get him out and put him in the pen with Rhonda. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Rhonda, meet Rocky. Being such a good mama. Did you come meet your friends? Rocky, quit trying to nurse her tail. On her belly. <laughs> Gotta get a teat. Not her tail. <laughs> Come on, kid. I think they're starting to figure it out. He at least has latched once. She's being tolerant, so I think they're gonna be just fine tonight. Alright, it's late. We're gonna go to bed um, with the mindset of he found the teats once. Surely he can find it again. I think he sucked one pretty good. So maybe he's just not hungry. In the morning we'll be able to tell if he ate a good bit through the night or not. And we'll milk her dry. Um, so hopefully we don't run the risk of infection. 
and we'll just keep a close eye on them tomorrow and make sure that he's frequently nursing. Say good morning. Palmer thinks that we're going to get the calf today. She doesn't know that we got it last night. So I'm gonna go wake her up and tell her we get to go meet a surprise. What do you think your surprise is? Surprises for me. What's the surprise? Surprise. Uh, do you think there's something outside for you? Let's go get daddy. Let's go get daddy and see. Is my prize? What do you think it is? Surprise. Your surprise? Did we get a new calf? Did we get a new calf? We did. Let's go see. Who is that? Rocky. Who's in there? Do you love Rocky? Diggy, who is that? Did you get a surprise too? <laughs> the next morning, Rocky was nursing so well. They both seemed so comfortable together. So I guess leaving them through the night, they got it figured out and I think that they are gonna be a great pair. Then it was time for Calf and Moo to move on to another pasture with the other cows. No more knocking over the chicken laying boxes. <laughs> um, they are needing some more room to roam and they are perfectly fine on grass and grain now. Calf is weaned and they are ready to roll.